A lot of people requested a review on battery powered string trimmers because they are ready to upgrade. So the question is, which string trimmer is the best and which one is going to be worth the money? Well, let's find out. In the first test, we'll see which trimmer offers the most startup torque. Then we'll see which trimmer is the fastest cutting through some tall grass. We'll see which trimmer holds the most trimmer line. We'll also compare total runtime and how long it takes to recharge the batteries. At a price of $230 for the battery, the charger, and the string trimmer is this Greenworks brand. The Greenworks comes with a four-year warranty, includes a brushless motor, includes a four amp hour pro grade 60 volt battery, Load and go trimmer head for super fast, hassle-free reloading on the fly. We're going to test that. Greenworks says that their brushless string trimmer motor provides more power and performance than a gas-powered trimmer. Greenworks claims that their brushless trimmer motor produces the same power as a 30cc engine. The nice thing about the Greenworks is you have a lot of flexibility to move the handle around to position it comfortably. It also includes a shoulder strap. It claims to offer 110 minutes of runtime. Once you activate the trigger on a tool, the amount of time it takes before the tool gets to work is known as reaction time. And the Greenworks is in no hurry to get busy. The Greenworks string trimmer is made in China. The weight of a trimmer, especially on the trimmer head, can really impact the ease of use and user fatigue. With the battery installed, the back of the trimmer weighs 9.45 pounds and the trimmer head weighs just over 4 pounds for a total weight of 13.5 pounds. There's no string in the trimmer and the sound meter is at 20 inches from the handle. And the Greenworks is pretty loud at 91.4 decibels. Many brushless motors fall flat on their face unless they can get some momentum before encountering a load. Unfortunately, the Greenworks doesn't make enough torque to get the one pound test device spinning. At a price of $250 for the battery, the charger, and the string trimmer is this Ryobi brand. The kit includes a 40 volt, 4 amp hour battery. The trimmer shaft is made of carbon fiber. You can also buy other attachments for the Ryobi, including an edger, blower, pole saw, and many more tools. Cutting width can be adjusted from 13 to 15 inches, 5-year tool warranty, and 3-year battery warranty. All the trimmers we'll be testing are designed for 0.95 or 0.80 trimmer line. 2-speed transmission. The Roby is made in Vietnam. While there's still some trigger lag with the Roby, it's not nearly as bad as the Greenworks. And the trimmer head on the Roby is a lot lighter than the Greenworks at 3.42 pounds, and the overall trimmer weight is 3 pounds lighter than the Greenworks at 10.6 pounds. And the Roby makes less noise than the Greenworks at 87.2 decibels. And the Roby performed very well at 39 inch pounds. Also the price of $250, the same price as the Roby, is this Echo brand which includes a battery and charger. The Echo comes with a 2.5 amp hour battery and has a brushless motor. Speed Feed 400 cutting head reloads in seconds without disassembly. Variable speed trigger for ultimate power control. Up to 28 minutes of runtime with a 2.5 amp hour battery. Includes a 5 year warranty. The Echo is made in China. Two-speed transmission. The trigger light with the Echo seems just about the same as the Greenworks. So Roby is the best so far. The trimmer head on the Echo is almost as light as the Roby at 3.47 pounds for a total weight of 10.6 pounds. The Echo is the quietest yet at 82.5 decibels. The Echo did a very respectable job at 30 inch pounds. And a third string trimmer we'll be testing at $250 to include the battery in the charger is made by Cobalt. Includes an 80 volt 2.5 amp hour battery. Up to 60 minutes of runtime on a fully charged 2.5 amp hour battery. 5 year limited warranty on the tool, 3 years on the battery. Adjustable cutting width lets you select either 14 or 16 inches. Brushless motor delivers more power and torque. Easy to use rapid reload head. High load speed selection allows for greater control. With the Cobalt you do have quite a bit of area to move the handle back and forth to find the right position. Unlike the other brands, the Cobalt has the electric motor near the trimmer head. The Cobalt is made in China. The Cobalt has less trigger lag than the Echo, but more trigger lag than the Roby. Even though the Cobalt has the motor on the head, the trimmer head is just a little bit heavier than the Roby and the Echo. The total weight is 10.8 pounds. And the Cobalt is relatively quiet at 77.7 decibels. Unfortunately, the Cobalt really struggled to make low end torque, 10 inch pounds. The next brand we'll be testing is the Atlas brand, which is sold at Harbor Freight. Unfortunately, you can't buy the battery, charger, and string trimmer as a kit. You have to buy them separately. The total price for all three is $260. Instead of three years or five years like the other brands, the Harbor Freight brand stands behind their product for 90 days. Brushless motor cuts better than professional gas equipment. We're going to test that. Rapid reload head winds new line in seconds. Just like the Cobalt, the Atlas also has the electric motor at the trimmer head. Provides more power and longer life. Variable speed trigger for greater control and more runtime. Instant electric start and stop. The Harbor Freight Atlas is made in China. The other trimmers we've looked at have high and low ranges. The Atlas just has one range. The trigger lag with the Atlas seems to be about the same as the Cobalt. Unfortunately, the trimmer head in the Atlas is pretty heavy at 4.2 pounds. The total weight of the trimmer is 9.25. And the Atlas is the quietest yet at 74.9 decibels. 
The Atlas performed about the same as the Cobalt at 9 inch pounds. At a price of $299 for the battery, the charger, and the string trimmer is this Milwaukee brand. Includes an 8 amp hour battery and a rapid battery charger. Designed for landscape maintenance professionals. Has a power to clear thick brush. Balanced design which increases user control. Includes a quick lock system which allows you to use an edger, articulating hedge trimmer, or pull saw attachments. Includes a 3 year warranty for the battery as well as the tool. Brushless motor delivers up to 6,200 RPM. Reaches full throttle in under 1 second. The Milwaukee is made in Mexico. And the Milwaukee's done a great job with the electronics. The electric motor has instant throttle response just like a gas trimmer. And the Milwaukee uses a steel drive shaft which adds weight to the trimmer. And the Milwaukee's trimmer head is also pretty heavy at 4.2 pounds. The total weight is 11.8 pounds or almost 2 pounds lighter than the Greenworks. The Milwaukee is pretty loud at 89.4 decibels. And the Milwaukee performed about the same as the Roby at 39 inch pounds. At a price of $300 for the trimmer, the battery, and the charger is this Ego Power Plus 16-inch power load string trimmer. It claims to be the world's most advanced trimmer. Includes a 56-volt, 4-amp-hour battery, 5-year tool warranty, 3-year battery warranty. Includes Line IQ technology, auto-sensing technology monitors and feeds the length of the line. Patented power load technology automatically winds your trimmer line. It has a 2-speed digital selector. The Ego is made in China. The Ego has decent throttle response, but definitely not nearly as fast as the Milwaukee. The Ego has the motor on the trimmer head, which weighs it down quite a bit at over 4.5 pounds, the most yet. 12 pounds of total weight on the trimmer. The Ego is pretty quiet at 81.1 decibels. The Ego did a pretty good job at 26 inch pounds or 13 inch pounds less than the Milwaukee. At a price of $320 for the battery, the charger, and the string trimmer is this DeWalt brand. The kit includes a 9 amp hour 60 volt battery, high efficiency brushless motor, quick load spool for convenient and efficient respooling, universal attachment capability to accept additional tool pieces, variable speed trigger with high and low speed control to optimize power and run time. The DeWalt includes a 3 year warranty. The DeWalt's electric motor is located up by the operator. There's a shaft running from the motor to the trimmer head. The DeWalt is made in Mexico. 4,650 RPM and low, 5,800 and high. And the throttle response of the DeWalt seems almost as fast as the Milwaukee. DeWalt has done a great job with the trimmer head, only weighing 3.5 pounds. The total weight is 12.6 pounds. The DeWalt is just as loud as the Milwaukee at 89.5 decibels. And the DeWalt has a lot of grit at 73 inch pounds, very impressive. And the most expensive string trimmer we'll be testing at a price of $400 for just the tool and not the battery and charger is made by Makita. The Makita comes right out of the box with the brush cutter hardware installed on the trimmer head. It's designed for commercial applications. It's the only string trimmer in the lineup that has a one-piece solid steel drive shaft. Makita claims this will provide less vibration and longer durability for life. Unfortunately, the Makita is the only brand that does not include a rapid respooling head. 36 volt brushless motor. Includes three speed options, 4600, 5500, and 7000 RPM. Includes a reverse rotation function which allows the operator to quickly clear the trimmer head of entangled grass and weeds. The Makita includes a vibration dampener. It claims to have power equivalent to a 30cc gas trimmer. Comes with a pretty nice shoulder strap. To test the Makita, I'll be using two 5 amp hour batteries. Three year warranty. The Makita is made in China. And the Makita does have very quick throttle response, but it does take a little bit longer to spin up compared to the Milwaukee. Even though the Makita has a large debris shield in the solid shaft, the trimmer is pretty light at only 3.6 pounds on the trimmer head. And the Makita is the lightest in the lineup at only 9 pounds. And the Makita is almost as loud as the DeWalt at 88.4 decibels. And the high revving Makita moves into second place behind the DeWalt at 48 inch pounds. If you're looking for a trimmer that makes great torque when it's spooling up, the DeWalt came out on top at 73 inch pounds. The Makita performed well at 48, Milwaukee and Ryobi 39 inch pounds. Trimmer head weight can have a huge impact on efficiency using the trimmer as well as user fatigue. The Roby has the lightest trimmer head at 3.4 pounds, Echo is pretty light at 3.5, DeWalt and Makita 3.6 pounds. And the lightest trimmer in the lineup is the Makita at only 9 pounds. Atlas is pretty light at 9.3, Echo 10.6, Roby 10.7, and Cobalt 10.8 pounds. If you're looking for the quietest trimmer, the Harbor Freight Atlas is very quiet at 74.9 decibels. Cobalt is 77.7 decibels, Ego 81.1, and Echo 82.5. A debris shield can really help prevent getting hit by little stones as well as grass clippings. The Makita is on the left and the Atlas is on the right. And Makita offers a lot more protection at 15.75 inches of width. Milwaukee, Dewalt, and Cobalt also offer great protection at a foot or even more. Once you activate the trigger on a tool, the amount of time it takes before the tool gets to work is known as reaction time. And the Greenworks is in no hurry to get busy at a half a second reaction time. The Greenworks is finally up to full speed in 1.3 seconds. And the Roby has a lot faster reaction time than the Greenworks at 0.2 seconds and is fully spooled up in only 1.1 seconds. And the Echo is a little bit slower to kick in than the Ryobi at 0.3 seconds and is 1.2 seconds to spool up all the way. The Cobalt's the same as the Echo at 0.3 seconds but needs 1.4 seconds to get up to full speed. 
And the Atlas also needs 0.3 seconds to kick in and is really slow to spool up at 1.8 seconds, the slowest yet. And the Milwaukee showed up in racing mode with reaction time of 0 seconds. And it's up to full speed in 0.5 seconds, very impressive. The Eagle has a great reaction speed at 0.1 seconds and it's up to full speed in 1 second. The Dewalt's reaction time is the same as the Eagle's at 0.1 seconds and it spools up just a little bit faster at 0.95 seconds. And the Makita's reaction time is almost as fast as the Milwaukee's at 0.05 seconds and it's up to full speed in 0.95 seconds. If you're looking for a trimmer that has a reaction time that's as good as a gas trimmer, the Milwaukee is the best in the lineup. The Makita is almost as fast as 0.05 seconds, Ego and DeWalt 0.1 seconds. Milwaukee is also the fastest tool to get up to full speed at 0.5 seconds. Makita and DeWalt finished in a distant second at 0.95 seconds and Ego finished in fourth at one second. So the way things have played out this time is that higher voltage string trimmers typically take longer to react to the trigger being squeezed and then take longer to get up to speed. Have you ever been just about finished with your yard when your trimmer runs out of line? I have 20 feet of 0.095 trimmer line, so let's see how much trimmer line the Greenworks will hold. All you have to do is line up the green lines to feed string into the trimmer. It's very easy to re-spool the Greenworks. And there's a total of 6 feet and 6 inches of leftover trimmer line. So the Greenworks holds 13.5 feet. With the Roby, you just line up the two arrows. You don't have to use a tool that comes with the Roby, but it does speed up the process. And there's 7 feet of trimmer line left over. So the Roby holds 13 feet or almost as much as the Greenworks. The Echo has a speed feed 400 head. Just line up the arrow with the eyelet and you're all set. And the Echo holds a lot more trimmer line than the Greenworks and the Roby at 20 feet. Just line up the arrows with the Cobalt. And the Cobalt has a lot smaller trimmer head than most of the other brands. And the Cobalt only holds 9 feet of trimmer line. The trimmer head on the Atlas looks identical to the Cobalt's. Just like the Cobalt, the Atlas only holds 9 feet of trimmer line. Line up the red lines with the Milwaukee. And the Milwaukee holds 20 feet of trimmer line and has room for more. So let's try 30 feet. And 30 feet of trimmer line is barely adequate for the Milwaukee. So Milwaukee takes the lead. The Eagle is extremely easy and there's nothing to line up. The Eagle will even spool up the trimmer head for you by pressing the green button that's on the trimmer head assembly. And it only took 15 seconds to add 30 feet of trimmer line to the Eagle, which is the fastest yet. Line up the two lines with the DeWalt and feed the trimmer line. And the DeWalt holds 20 feet of trimmer line or about 10 feet less than the Milwaukee in the Ego. Unfortunately, you'll have to disassemble the head on the Makita. However, you can purchase an Echo Speed Feed replacement head if you're looking to upgrade. The trimmer head on the Makita is a lot smaller than most of the other brands and it holds right at 16 feet of trimmer line. A large trimmer line capacity will help you avoid unnecessary pit stops. And the Milwaukee and the Ego offer the most trimmer line capacity at 30 feet. Echo and DeWalt hold 20 and Makita 16 feet of trimmer line. All the trimmer batteries are fully charged. There's a couple pieces to the next test. The first part is to cut the trimmer line three inches too long and then as the trimmer whips the trimmer line it'll remove the slack from inside the trimmer head. Unfortunately the greenworks keeps stalling out and it just won't cut the trimmer line. If the trimmer hits a sharp object the trimmer line becomes too short and oftentimes the trimmer line has to be dispensed by hand. I'm gonna go ahead and shorten the trimmer line on the greenworks to three quarters of an inch. Unfortunately the trimmer line is just too short for the greenworks to advance the trimmer line. Let's see how it performs at two inches. Two inches took some effort, but the Greenworks did advance the trimmer line. And the Roby made very easy work of cutting the excess trimmer line. It did take quite a bit of effort, but the Roby did advance the trimmer line from three quarters of an inch just fine. Unfortunately, the Cobalt just wasn't able to dispense the trimmer line starting at three quarters of an inch. However, the Cobalt did just fine dispensing the trimmer line from 2 inches. The Atlas trimmer head looks just like the Cobalt's and it performed about the same. Just like the Cobalt, the Atlas wasn't able to dispense the trimmer line from 3 quarters of an inch, but it was able to dispense more trimmer line from 2 inches. And the Echo did just fine trimming off the excess trimmer line. The Echo needed several bumps, but it did successfully dispense more trimmer line from 3 quarters of an inch. The Milwaukee has definitely done the best so far dispensing trimmer line from 3 quarters of an inch. It took 4 taps in about 2 seconds. The Eagle has a very unique technology for advancing trimmer line without bumping the trimmer head. I had to start and stop the trimmer several times, but it did successfully advance the trimmer line from 3 quarters of an inch. And the Dwalt only needed three taps in order to advance the trimmer line, and it took about 1.2 seconds. And the Makita made very easy work of trimming off the excess trimmer line. 
The Milwaukee and the DeWalt definitely made a lot easier work of dispensing the trimmer line from three quarters of an inch. If you're looking for a string trimmer that's very efficient at dispensing trimmer line when the line becomes extremely short, most of the brands are very capable of dispensing the trimmer line at three quarters of an inch. With the trimmer line at three quarters of an inch, the DeWalt made the quickest work of dispensing the trimmer line in only 1.2 seconds with three trimmer head bumps. The Milwaukee only needed four bumps in two seconds. The Echo also performed well at six seconds in Makita 7. Okay, the grass is about 10 to 12 inches tall, and I'm going to use an 8x24 box to compare the performance of each of the brands. And the green was cut off to a decent start, but I pushed it a little bit too hard and installed out after seven seconds. Unfortunately, it took another seven seconds before it'd power up again. And the green work stalled out a total of seven times during the test. It took a total of two minutes and 45 seconds. The Greenworks actually did a better job of dispersing the grass clippings. With the Ryobi, the clippings gathered on the left side of the debris shield when sweeping from right to left. While the Ryobi didn't stall, it did lose a lot of RPM when I pushed it. The Ryobi didn't stall out, which allowed it to cut 192 square feet of grass about 40 seconds faster than the Greenworks. And the Cobalt has quite a bit more power than the Ryobi. The trimmer did a much better job of keeping the trimmer head spinning near peak RPM. While the Debris Shield did a great job of blocking grass clippings from hitting me, the clippings got out in front of the trimmer on the left or right swing and slowed the trimmer's cutting speed. I like the Cobalt quite a bit, but I don't like having the weight of the motor way out front. And the Cobalt is the fastest yet at a minute and 51 seconds. And once the Atlas gets up to speed, it has really good power and holds RPM. It seems to have the same power as the Cobalt, but the smaller Debris Shield prevented the grass clippings from bunching up out in front of the trimmer. This really helped it make a lot faster progress. However, I was getting hit with a lot more grass clippings compared to the Cobalt. And the Atlas is the fastest yet at 90 seconds. And the Echo has a very small debris shield which helped it cut the tall grass efficiently. However, I did end up getting hit by a lot more grass clippings compared to the Greenworks, Ryobi, and the Cobalt. The trimmer motor seems to have plenty of power for the tall grass. 95 seconds is almost as fast as the Atlas. And the Milwaukee seems to have way more power than the previous brands. However, the Milwaukee does vibrate quite a bit more than the other brands, and that's pretty noticeable. I pushed the Milwaukee a little too hard near the end of the test, and it stalled. 85 seconds is the fastest time yet. The most noticeable thing about the Ego is all the weight out in front of the trimmer head. Also, of all the trimmers, I ended up getting more grass clippings hitting me in the face compared to the other brands. However, the Ego has plenty of power and performed very well at 89 seconds. The Dwalt dominated the off-the-line torque test and it dominated this test too. The trimmer did by far the best at maintaining a very high RPM no matter how hard I pushed it. And it's by far the most powerful in the lineup and finished the test in only 68 seconds. Very impressive! The Makita's Massive Debris Shield did the best of all the brands at protecting the operator from grass clippings, but that probably slowed it down quite a bit as the grass clippings got in the path of the trimmer. The Makita is definitely the most comfortable and the smoothest trimmer in the lineup. 80 seconds for a second place finish. If it's all about cutting speed, the DeWalt is by far the fastest at 68 seconds. The Makita was 12 seconds behind the DeWalt at 80 seconds, Milwaukee 85, Ego 89, and Atlas 90 seconds. Tool vibration can cause hand discomfort or even swelling of the hands. I tested the vibration without any trimmer line inside the trimmer head to prevent that from throwing off the results. And the Makita is amazingly smooth with very little tool vibration. The Milwaukee is a great tool in many ways, but the vibration is very harsh. If you're buying a string trimmer kit, the battery capacity is something to consider. The Ego offers the most battery capacity at 224 watt hours. Greenworks offers 216, Cobalt, Atlas, Dewalt, and Makita 180 watt hours. All the batteries are fully charged. So let's test the total run time of the trimmers. And the Makita is the first to run out of juice in only 10 minutes. Echo has the smallest battery capacity of 126 watt hours and lasted 14 minutes. Milwaukee's 144 watt hour battery lasted 16 minutes. Dewalt has a 180 watt hour battery and that only lasted 17 minutes. Ryobi lasted 6 minutes longer than the Dewalt at 23 minutes. Cobalt has the motor mounted on the string trimmer head which offers a lot more efficiency than the rear mounted motors with all the hardware running through the shaft. 29 minutes. Greenworks and Atlas gave up at 31 and a half minutes. Unlike the other brands, the Ego lowers the RPM on the trimmers when high RPM isn't needed to conserve the battery. 40.5 minutes. In most residential applications, running a trimmer at full RPM non-stop just isn't very realistic. Actual run time would be 2, 3, or even 4 times longer. However, at non-stop Stop wide open throttle, the Ego has the longest run time at 40.5 minutes. Greenworks and Atlas lasted 31.5, Cobalt 29, and Ryobi 23 minutes. Battery charger noise seems like a minor detail, but it might impact your buying decision in some circumstances. And the Greenworks is pretty loud and sounds a lot like a hairdryer. The Ryobi makes a little bit less noise than the Greenworks. The Cobalt may have a cooling fan that kicks in in some circumstances, but the Cobalt remained quiet during my testing. The Atlas makes a high-pitched squeal, but it's a lot less noisy compared to the Greenworks or the Ryobi. Very little noise coming from the Echo Charger. The Milwaukee Rapid Charger makes a high-pitched noise, but it's not very loud. 
and the Ego Charger is pretty loud. No detectable sound coming from the DeWalt Charger. Even though the Makita makes some fan noise, it's a lot less noisy compared to the Greenworks, Ryobi, and the Ego. Battery charge times varied a lot, and some brands offer fast chargers that you can purchase that'll speed up the charging process. Using the chargers that came in the kits, the Ryobi is the fastest at 44.5 minutes. Makita was almost as fast at 48.6, Ego 49, and Echo 57 minutes. Assigning an A through F rating is highly subjective. However, I've had a lot of viewers mention that they find this format very helpful. The DeWalt, Ego, Makita, Milwaukee, and Ryobi all had an average rating of A-. However, any of these brands might perform poorly in a single category that you might find to be a deal breaker. If I had to choose just one string trimmer, I would definitely go with the DeWalt. It's an amazing machine, very well designed and performs extremely well. I also like the Milwaukee, Makita, as well as the Ego. Those are also very good machines. Thanks to everyone that suggested this video. As a reminder, I buy all the products tested to ensure unbiased reviews. So thanks again for supporting the channel. Also, I'm really looking forward to reading your comments on future video ideas. Thanks so much for watching. Please take care and I look forward to next time.